I've seen races before where you see somebody running in a physical race and he's running, he's the first and he sees that there's nobody beside him and he begins to slow down. He begins to slow down and as he's slowing down gradually, he discovers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven have passed him. Hi guys, this is Emeka Anslem. So as you go about this year and begin to succeed in your goals, be careful not to slow down but your pace because your positions may be right behind you attempting to overtake you now watch this video and be blessed i've seen races before where you see somebody running in a physical race and he's running is the first and he sees that there's nobody beside him and he begins to slow down he begins to slow down and as he's slowing down gradually he discovers one two three four five six seven have passed him he was the first in the lane there are only eight when seven pass him it means he has come last from the first he ended last the bible says, in the kingdom many that are first shall be last so don't watch others running run your race don't watch others running don't check how they are running run your race each one of us is on a track we are running a race and the race is broken down year by year the one for 2023 has already started. There are 52 laps in this race. The first lap is already finishing. There are 51 remaining. So when we are saying happy new year, God is saying happy new race. Run the race. Run the race. Run the race. Run the race. At the start of the race, don't you notice? Everybody is smiling. When they are mentioning the name of the runner, everybody is smiling. They are clapping, they are waving. They are clapping, they are waving. Well done, well done. They call his name. They stretch. They do all manner of things. But at the end of the race, only some people are smiling. The ones who finish the race well. That is why it's not enough to start the race with excitement. Run the race with passion. Drive in this pursuit. And watch what God will make of you. At the end of this year, you will laugh. I said at the end of this year, you and I will laugh. Yeah. Now, from biblical examples, we have individuals who ran the race for a season and they lost out at the end. Let's look at a few of them. Number one is King Asa. He led a massive revival, but he missed his step after 20 years. So don't look back at your history. Understand that every day you are writing your story don't look back and say i served god since wonder double began in 2015 that's not enough every day you are writing your story asa became a cautionary tale why because he missed it at the end the grace for each one of us to stay running till the end i see that grace coming afresh upon us we have that in second chronicles chapter 15 verse 7 all the way to verse 19 and chapter 16 verse 1 to 9. second example we have is solomon Oh, Solomon, the darling of God. He started in 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 3. The Bible says, Solomon loved the Lord. Unusual passion, unusual drive. And he kept that love burning for 20 years. But by chapter 11 of 1 Kings, the Bible makes us to understand he loved many strange women. And those women took his heart away from God. And the one who he loved before became an adversary unto him until the day of his death. After 20 years of getting it right. I know many of us may have been running this race for a particular length of season. But the grace to press all the way to the end, may we receive it today. Yeah. The third example we have is the example of Uzziah. Oh, Uzziah was a marvelous example. A man who started at the age of 16 pursuing God, loving God, engaging with God, following after all the instructions from Zechariah the prophet. And the Bible tells us that he was marvelously helped. It's only as Uzziah we have that adjective used in scripture. Marvelously helped. And the Bible says he was helped until he was strong. But by verse 16, when he was strong, his heart was lifted up. Pride got him out of the way. And he lost out after 52 years. After 52 years. That is why if there is something you and I need is grace. Lord, I need your grace. I may have been running this race so far, but I need your grace. We have been told before that grace is God in the race. Lord, I need your grace to keep running this race. But we have a positive example in Abraham. Abraham started at the age of 75. Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 to 4. 
and he ran the race to 175. 100 years, 100 years, sorry, of an unbreakable walk with God. A hundred years. It has been done before, so it can be done again. That means that you and I, we can receive the grace of Abraham. That grace of a never-ending walk with God. That grace that keeps us pursuing, running, walking after God all the days of our lives till the very end. And I pray that for each one of us today, by the encounter we are having upon this mountain, that very grace will come afresh upon our lives. None of us will ever look back at the time when we used to serve God. In fact, according to 1 Corinthians 15, 58, be steadfast, be unmovable, always abounding or increasing in the work of the Lord for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. For you and I, the best of our service will never be in the past. Our present engagement will be better than the past. Our future engagement will be better than the present. It shall be from one level of engagement to the other. And the blessing of our stewardship shall never elude us. You believe it, say it loud.